What's the deal? I thought you wanted to be with your wife and kids. I do. Okay, then why don't you let me tell the court I went with you willingly that night? When the DA, uh, they're gonna have to drop the charges. I held you hostage. You're willing to face adding and abating charges for me. Why is this so important to you? That's what I'd like to know. We were stuck in a ditch during a storm, and Sonny told me all about his wife. It doesn't mean you need to perjure yourself. I could see that Sonny loved her, and I assume that she loves him back. And hopefully you realize that Carly didn't betray you now, because I know how much that can hurt. Are you talking to me, or is this for his benefit? So leave Jax out of this, please. And what do you say? Do you want me to testify or not? You know, it's very nice what you're, what you're doing, and I... I'm not going to forget it, but I'm not going to let you uh, pay for what I did. You heard the men. Let's go. Jax, I know you don't like the guy. Just, you... I'm not going to stand by and watch Sonny destroy another woman that I care about. Is that why you hate Sonny so much? Because of a woman? You know about Brenda. Well, I know you left Sky for her. Just that. My history with uh, Brenda and Sonny goes way back. They were dating when I met her. Brenda was, uh, she was very special. She was full of life back then. Until Sonny broke her. Wow. He tore her life apart with his uh, stupid mobster code of honor. Truth is, Sonny doesn't have any honor. His life is full of violence and danger. He'll cripple anyone that comes close to him. Jackson, we were, we were just talking. I know, I know, but you were offering to help him. And that's the first step on the road to destruction. Look, the best thing you can do is just walk away and never look back. What? Well, I mean, you said it before, but I didn't just realize it until now. You really do care about me. I didn't really realize there was so much history between you and Sonny. You know, Sonny and I haven't exactly been fond of each other over the years. Well, I can see why you guys have problems. That guy is pretty intense, you know. It's one way to describe him. He's a uh, violent, destructive man. So are you going to tell me what you wanted from Sonny? Okay. I admit that um, I did approach him on the pier to get back at you. And then he used me to get away from the cops, but I just, um, I felt like he was desperate and, and outnumbered, and I guess I could relate to him. And I think I just have been fixated on the dead man's hand for so long that maybe I just, I don't know, maybe I just needed something new to pass the time. The Haunted Star is obviously not going to be the salvage boat of my dreams because Luke has basically taken possession of it. No, Luke can't take anything from you if you don't want him to. It's just the thing, Jax. I don't know what I want. I really never thought about what i do once those cards were history. Just... Look for a fresh start. It'd be easy, but I don't have a clue what to do with my life. I do. Let it begin with me. Maybe the best thing for me to do is to stick to what I know and get my sea legs back. You mean uh, find a Lazarus three and put her to work? Exactly. 
You, you enjoy the salvage business? Yeah. You're into living. You're a smart girl, Sam. Now, if you want to be a salvage captain, then do it. Just don't do it halfway. Well, I never do anything halfway, Jax. You know, whatever it is that you do next should exhilarate you. Make you want to jump out of bed every morning, you know? Yeah. As long as it pays the bills, right? Aim as high as you possibly can. And I guarantee you, you will do even better. That... That sounds great. If I only had a plan. Well, you, you know, I have a, a, a few ideas where you might be able to start. I was just thinking, why am I souping up alone when there's a handsome guy in the other room that I could be in the shower? Put this on and head downstairs. There's a car waiting to take you to your future. <clears throat> wow. The look suits you. Maybe for conning some oil exec. Are we role-playing today? I'm the secretary and you're some big business tycoon who needs a break? No, no, this is, uh, this is not a game. Wow. Creative. Props. That, that, that's a good one. No, no, this is not a prop. This is a job offer which I'm hoping you will take. Wait a second. I, I tell you that I'm looking for a fresh start. You say it begins with you. Suddenly I'm your vice president. <laughs> what kind of job is this? I think I've told you that before. I never joke where money is involved. What the heck do I know about running a company? You're a smart woman, Sam. You're intelligent. You're savvy. It's more than enough you need to start. I'm not even sure what you do for a living. Well, mostly I bluff. You're very good at that. <clears throat> That's what you need in the business world. See, we make promises that we don't intend to keep. And uh, we try to come out on top no matter what. Okay, what kind of stakes are we talking? Uh, usually the deals that are made here are hundreds of millions of dollars. <laughs> <laughs> You're talking more than a hundred million dollars? Yeah, it kind of gets your blood pumping, doesn't it? Uh-huh, I, I admit I enjoy running a good bluff. Yeah, by the time you close one deal, you're already thinking about the next one, so you don't really get to enjoy the rush. Wow. So how do we celebrate a victory? Well, usually we um, purchase obnoxious amounts of large toys but in your case i had something more personal in mind uh -huh. 